how many of you are like, and click goodbye. <laughs> you loved it, you loved it. But seriously, I love you guys very much and I really appreciate all of your support. Now enough of that, um, let's get into today's case. Eight minutes in, love it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my hair today, so if I keep looking at myself, it's because, oh my god, I look like Mufasa. Okay. 
expressed to her that if anything ever happened to her, to look no further than to Robert and to never let him get away with it. So, we're gonna fast forward to 20, 20, 28 years later when a very close friend and confidant of Robert's, Susan Berman, was killed in her own home. Susan was killed a mere hours before she had a meeting to speak with investigators about the disappearance of Kathy McCormick. According to Durst's lawyer, he, you know, had found Susan's body and he panicked and he ran and he knew that wasn't the right thing to do. Um, but he didn't know what to do and he absolutely had nothing to do with what had happened. then packed up and moved to Galveston, Texas. When he arrived in Galveston, Texas in 2003, the body of Morris Black would appear in the Galveston Bay, dismembered. Morris Black Of Karen 
early in this case um, and the missteps that had taken place with it being treated as she was a depressed runaway, could have killed herself, who even knows um, when clearly something more sinister is going on here. In a 2019 article from the Addison Independent, Lynn's sisters um, exclaim how they're very pleased with the case and its progression, and how Detective Baddish is treating the case and debunking all those earlier theories, and they have a lot of trust and faith in him. Her sisters continue to remember Lynn um, as this bubbly, fun-loving, adventurous young woman who had these big dreams. And they know without a doubt that Lynn was met this day with foul play. If you have any information about the case of Lynn Schultz, you can contact the Middlebury, Vermont Police Department, Detective Bowdish himself. You can contact your local police department. not expecting this. I wanted to do a missing person's case. Stumbled upon Lynn's, and in the middle of my research, when I saw Robert's name come up, I was like, oh, that's so interesting. And then I kind of went down this rabbit hole as I tend to do, tend to do, tend to do, tend to do. And I looked into the Kristen Modafetti case and the Karen Mitchell case, and um, yeah, it's very interesting. I will say that Robert Durst has been cleared of the Kristen Modafetti case, but not Karen Mitchell. <laughs> 